everyone, it is a blustery day, <laughs> but it is time for an update. We're going into this stable, which as you all might remember, is the sales stable. You might be thinking, Matt, why is it so dark? Why is there no horses at all in this stable? Well, some things have changed. This whole building has to have the roof ripped off. So all of the sales horses have currently been moved to the main uh, stable block. Um, things have been a little bit quiet, but that's because I told you guys from the beginning that we were never gonna be this like huge factory that's selling uh, 50 horses a year or something. And we're also not people that just turn around a horse after a month. We really wanna put the time and dedication in. We've had a tremendous amount of positive feedback on the horses we have sold. Farolero, who I showed you, it has been sold. Unguido has been sold. Um, Pistolero now has been sold to a client. Um, he actually wasn't even officially for sale, but um, so a client had seen him, just a photo of him and was so, so interested. So she came out, loved him uh, and just bought him straight away. Uh, so yeah, so we have uh, had uh, an amazing amount of success and I have a couple of really great horses I want to catch you guys up on. Um, today is a really exciting day because we're actually shooting their sales photos. Uh, Beauty, or Ujier, that's his official name, is this beautiful bay horse. So he's actually going to be going for sale in about a week's time. We're doing all the photos today uh, and next week we'll do his sales video. And I also want you guys to meet this new buckskin that we have in. He's not for sale yet. We still have some training to do with him, but he is amazing and very exciting. So let's go meet them. They're in the main barn. And I wonder what you guys think. Okay, so these are the boys. Very excited to show you them. I don't think you guys have been properly introduced to Don Letrado. He's just turned six this year. Um, he's doing really well. He's a gelding. He's about 167, 168. He's really cute, very inquisitive. He's this beautiful uh, buckskin color. Uh, and he's been currently uh, in training with us. So we're just kind of practicing now that he's comfortable and relaxed with everything. Um, just making sure that he's gaining muscles and getting good exposure with everything. But he's a really, really sweet horse and he can move really well. But I think you guys all remember Beauty because when I posted a story about him arriving um, months ago, everybody kind of went crazy on Instagram. But he's also uh, a six-year-old and he's been training um, really, really well. He's doing some baby half steps in the PF, a little bit of second trot, some light half passes, some changes. Uh, he's been doing really, really well. So today we're gonna be doing some photos of them all taking their sale photos, which I'm really, really excited about. There's another horse I wanted to show you. This is uh, Luxo, who is really sweet. Um, he is a PRE uh, cross Lusitano, and we've actually taken him to a competition already. He did really good. He's a super wow mover. He's uh, quite advanced in what he knows as well with like the tempi changes and um, like already some pirouette work and some half steps. Um, and he's a really, really, really cool horse. He's, but he's, he's like one of those PREs, well, he's a mix, but he's one of those PREs that could be really, really serious in the sport for a young rider or for someone um, who wants to do both, uh, like have a really cool pleasure horse, but a really talented uh, dressage horse as well. <laughs> he wants me to give him a cookie. I don't have anything. And he is a gelding, he's around like 165, 166 um, and training Priest and George, but he's really, really cute. I really like him. And he's got a really pretty body as well, like his whole shape of uh, his muscles and how he's built is really nice. And I think because he's got that Lusitano mix to him, he has a little bit more power in the hind end, which sometimes is lacking in the Puris. I think some people sometimes don't know, and it's something I found out along my journey with the Puri horses that Initially, PREs were for pulling carriages. That's why they all have such big fronts and big necks and big chests because they were pushing the carriage while pulling it. Um, and that's why the hind is not so active uh, because the hind is not as important as the front in a, in a carriage horse um, from a visual point of view because you're only seeing the front legs. So they've got to look really beautiful and, and active. Whilst the Lusitanos were bred for bullfighting, which is a lot of canter work, a lot of pushing. 
So they usually have a lot more strength in the hind. And I think Luxo kind of bears both qualities, the front and the hind, which is a rare combination to find. You look like someone who's looking to either make a website or um, run your website on a better platform, then Squarespace is where you need to be. Squarespace offers hundreds of already made templates where you can go in, uh, pick your favorite one, still customize everything you want. You don't need to have any coding knowledge. It's super user friendly. I run my shop on there. I've been running my website on Squarespace for almost four years now. Um, I truly, truly love the user experience. It's so easy to use on the go as well. You can make quick changes on your phone, whether it's updating stock levels, changing text, or uh, changing the photos as well. If this sounds like what you're looking for, then do use my link, which is www.squarespace.com slash madharniki. In doing so, you'll receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Of course, we have Dominique in the house. Who else is gonna shoot these horses? Show the real beauty for how it is. Um, we have Beauty first, who's gonna be coming into the outdoor. This is always where we shoot. And we're gonna start with just some like uh, head shots and some like full body shots. And then we're gonna go into the written shots. We always do it in the outdoor. And it's actually perfect that it's overcast today because then we don't have to deal with too many uh, shadows and things like that from the, from the sun. And the colors will be much better, especially with this coat color. So Dominique's instructing. The most difficult thing is always getting them to stand in a way that shows off their body best. You don't want them too far under, you don't want them too wide, you want them square. Um, but Dominique is great at doing this because she always knows for what body type, what position they need to stand in at what angle to make them look the best. Here I've got the box of tricks. And in this box we have all different things to make him look. That way we get the ears and the neck to be really up and pretty. And we're always super committed to, also this is not a scarf, this is a, a towel in case we need to clean them off. But we're always super committed also, if it takes two hours to get the shot of them standing right, we will do it. It just, however long it takes to make it look good. Could be five minutes, could be two hours. <laughs> so, oh, I'm needed? Okay, I'll get these ears happening then. Okay, so we're gonna start with an umbrella and see if this works. What do you want? This one? Yeah. Forward. This wind is not... And then on this side, man. Oh, no! Oh. The other side! Next one. Dominique actually thinks she'll be easier to shoot. Yes. Um, because, I mean, okay, she has obviously the eye for it. She knows what she's looking for, but because of the shape of the neck um, and the build. So, we'll see. But I, I actually don't think it took too long with Beauty. Oh, no, no. Hey, I think it can take much longer <laughs> with, with Sereno. It took much oh, longer, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, there's not much that used to get Sereno looking, so that, that's always a little bit tricky. But we're looking pretty much ready to go. So we're gonna take our beauty first and do his um, ridden shots now. We're not gonna go for anything too crazy. We always want left and right uh, trot and canter. And then once that's done, uh, we can do some extra things like half passes and things like that. But for us, it's important just to paint a really good picture for what the horse is like. Okay, so we're making a bit of a strategy plan for the riding shots because I mean, I always love the horses to have like this beautiful frame correct but the ears forward and that's some horses don't do that so we have positioned priscilla at the end of the arena with the umbrella 
and hopefully hopefully the horse is gonna look at the umbrella and we'll get his ears forward like that For us, it's also always quite important to show both sides of the horse, also when we're shooting. So we'll, we always, whatever we do on the left, we do on the right. And that just also means, what is it? Dog shit, a lot. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Um, so yeah, so it's quite important that we showcase both sides of the horse, especially because even something as simple as like having the men on one side, not having the men on the other, it sounds really small, but sometimes it does make a difference in the final picture. So the more options you have, the better. Back into the truck. Good boy. Really pretty. Yeah, good boy. Well, I really hope you all enjoyed your time here at the stables, catching up with the sales horses. Um, we are currently actually shopping for more. Um, it's really difficult to find healthy, good quality uh, PRE or Lusitano or just Iberian uh, horses in general. So we're kind of taking our time with that, but I am going to take you guys with me when we go looking again, uh, which should be very soon. Uh, that's always a fun, exciting project. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep your eyes out for the sales video of uh, Ujier Beauty, which is going to be coming out in about a week's time. Um, and then, yeah, then he's going to be officially for sale. So if anybody's interested, please contact Elite Iberian Sport Horses and we'll get back to you on any questions you might have if you want to come out and see him. Um, but yeah, but for now, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye.